Frank Lloyd Wright's fingerprints are all over the valley. Well, just take a look at the Biltmore. Biltmore is right? beautiful. beautiful. Those, those two big spires that we see. Yeah. I think there's a couple of those. And then Tally S and West, That's which was right. his winter home, right? And Corey is out there this yeah, morning. How about hey, that? He got it. He, he knew the place to be when it uh, came wintertime in Wisconsin, where Taliesin lies. Uh, a couple of hours, uh, oh, about, about 45 minutes west of Madison is his uh, home in Wisconsin. But this is the western uh, outpost, Taliesin West. And boy, talk about a, a place. And I think it's always been that way, and it is today, where architects can run freely. Nobody can put any constraints on any kind of design out here, and this place is a real example of that. Uh, 80 years and still going strong, and uh, Didi uh, Ludwig uh, Palin is with us this morning, and thanks for um, giving us a little tour, and you've got a really cool summer camp going here. I think that's, uh, I don't know, I know where I grew up, architecture camp was not an option, but I love what you're offering here. Give me an idea what these kids are going to enjoy. Sure. So this is the first of eight weeks of summer camp this year, and we have a variety of different camps. Some of the camps are focused on designing a dream space that students may have. Some are focused on creating a city of tomorrow. We have a camp that's about designing a new colony in Mars. And so we have kids here for a week, and throughout the week, they're spending the time immersed in Taliesin, exploring this location, drawing, designing, and creating something of their very own. Wow. And what, what room are we in right now? Right now, we're in the garden studio. So this was Frank Lloyd Wright's living room. This is where he did a lot of his entertaining. And this was kind of a central hub for the campus here. Boy, just... Uh... Talk about a beautiful wintertime uh, retreat. Now, if, if he were alive today, would what these kids are up to now be something that he would be interested in? Uh, was he all for pushing young people forward? For sure. This place has always been about education and exploring. This was really created as a learning laboratory and as a place where students can come and learn and learn by doing. So to this day, we have education programs for students in kindergarten through 12th, along with our uh, master's program for students who are learning architecture as well. Very cool. And uh, how, is it just this week or how is it going to work? Sure. So we have eight weeks of camp. Mm -hmm. This is our first of the eight weeks this summer. Um, we have them going on through the beginning of August. And we have kids here for a full week. And this is the third day of our week of oh, camp. Fun. And how can moms and dads register real fast? Sure. If you go to our website, um, franklloydwright.org, you can find all the information about our camps. And we have some openings still for next week. Love that. Well, look at the air conditioning of the 1930s and 40s here. Uh, Troy, <laughs> Celeste, <laughs> boy, how's it work? That. Yeah, everything. It, well, it's intermittently great. <laughs> it's <laughs> better an right now. It's better. Raw, it's perfect right now. Right there. Yeah, yeah no, it's going to be. So a, great we've got AC. They've uh, they've uh, updated the uh, air handling system. But anyway, you'll be cool here, and it's going to be a fun week for sure. Details again in a few minutes. That's a beautiful spot. Yeah, it is. So cool. And Frank was, you know, smart guy. Uh huh. So Frank yeah, was a smart got, guy. Did you? Were hot. you friends? No, no, I've read a lot about him though. <laughs> yeah. There, there are there are a bunch of great books about him. Mm -hmm. Interesting character. Flawed man. Uh-huh. Aren't we, aren't we all? Of course. Uh, but, like, he went back to Wisconsin when it started getting hot. <laughs> well, hey, Corey. He's out and about. Well, hey, Corey. <laughs> hey, Cor. Well, hey. How's it going, buddy? Good morning, you guys. Uh, <laughs> great. I'm just relaxing here in the garden room uh, in some Frank Lloyd Wright designed uh, chairs. We've got the kids over there hard at work. Uh, really, almost all of the furniture that you see in here. Uh, designed by Wright himself. And uh, boy, uh, you know, the story goes that uh, Wright's mentor, his philosophy was uh, form follows function, but Frank Lloyd Wright decided, no, they're equal, that uh, it has to both work well and look good, and boy, things really do. And uh, Didi's still with us. Uh, we've got kids uh, in action over here. And one more time, uh, talk about the camp and how parents can get their kids involved. Sure. So, again, we have eight weeks of summer camp here. You can go to our website, franklloydwright.org, and find out more information. We still have some openings for camp next week and a bunch of our camps in August as well. Very right. good. July. Uh, hey, you guys, uh, br bring, your, bring your drawings with you and bring your pencils too. But let, follow me. We're, we're going to take a little, uh, a little walk here over to the Kiva. 
and I love what what that room uh, represents. Uh, it's got so much really cool uh, art or, or design already in it. Oh, here we're gonna have to hustle, you guys. Run like the wind, like your kids, and. Um, Every step you take here, Dee Dee, is so fun. I love this reflecting pool, and uh, it seems like there's so many cool alcoves. Watch your head everywhere you go. Uh, but this room, fascinating. And these guys, yeah, just come on in. Enjoy yourselves in here, everybody. Julian, mm -hmm. have you ever been to this camp, by the way? Um, actually, this is the first time I've been. Yeah. Now, w what do you like about, you could go to any summer camp that you want. W what do you like about what's happening here? Um, well, I've always loved architecture and science and most of the physics. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, for a while, I wanted to be an architect when I grew up. Oh, cool. Grow, grow. Yeah, well, you're on your way, that's for sure. Uh, and, Didi, this model that we're seeing on the table, that was designed by a graduate student, right? Correct. This was designed by one of the students in our School of Architecture here at Taliesin. Boy. Well, I love all the big ideas that percolate uh, through this place. I'm sure uh, uh, Frank Lloyd Wright would be pleased to see his legacy uh, continue. Well, thanks to you guys. Thanks for sharing all your talents with us. Oh, by the way, if you don't mind, just hold up your drawings, if you would. We'll just kind of come down the row here, and uh, we'll yeah, show everybody what you've been working on. So if you want to get your youngster involved in uh, this kind of a summer camp, it's all happening this summer uh, for the next several weeks. So uh, make sure to get yourself registered, and uh, you could have your youngster working like this. All right, we'll see you guys again soon. Oh, by the way, come out and see us this summer. 50% off wow. admission for Phoenix residents, yes, right? Arizona residents. Or Arizona oh, residents. Home. Very good. Yeah, and it's worth You're the trying tour. to pit city really against city out there, Corey. Yeah. You can't do that. It's not just Phoenix. Well, say that again, Troy. You're trying what to pit that? city against city. You're saying like the Gilbert folks would have to pay full price. Hey, that's, believe me, the conflict between cities in this valley <laughs> is well known. Ask the residents of no Higley. Joke. If oh, there was a Higley, Higley. Yeah, if Gilbert right hadn't there. massed its They're tanks on the border <laughs> and simply rushed in like the Prague Spring, <laughs> don't get me started on I Higley. Know. I'm sorry. There's still a water tower out there. There is. You know. Does it still say Higley on it? I think it does. And there's like a little Higley market, I think, right there on Higley. Thanks, All right. Clark.